But look what I see. Jewelry box. A human skull. I like what I see in this box. A 20 gauge shotgun slug. We are back inside of our $500 antique storage unit. Right here. First time we pulled out a bunch of cool stuff. Second time it was kind of meh. Third time, I guess we're doing a pattern. We're back to the good stuff now. Let's get in here and pull it out. You think if I pull this umbrella that I'll cause a massive avalanche? Probably. Let's pull. No, I'm joking. We'll wait. <laughs> Let's get down these tank bags. Ugh. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That was way heavier than I thought it was going to be when I went to grab it. All right, let's get this down. You always got to be careful because you don't know what one thing's holding all of that. You don't. Eventually, <laughs> we're going to pull something and then boom. Okay, that's definitely not closed unless <clears throat> they have very hard, rattly clothes. And guess what? <laughs> the zipper's Great. stuck. There's not another way in here. Is it? No, it's not. Well, I guess we need a knife. One little magic spell with a knife, and look at this. It opens now. I don't know what you just heard. That wasn't no ripping. That was just the suitcase opening. Is this thing really full of dishes, tumblers, glasses? What's this? What's that? I don't know. Let's see. Looks like suspenders. That's what exactly what I thought. Or like a guitar strap. That's, no, that's a belt, isn't it? Yeah. That's a belt. A seat fucking belt. Okay, that's very strange. And then we got more cups, more dishes. And yeah, this suitcase is basically all full of that. Is there anything in here? Nope, that's empty. Let's pull out the other one. Let's get the second one. Uh-oh, you see that? These bags are moving with me. You think if I pull it faster, it'll work better? I think they'll still come down. Go ahead. One. <laughs> uh, my left hand's not holding an avalanche here. I gotta run. You ready for this? Yeah. This! Yeah. Okay. Kinda knew that was coming. All right. Let's see what's in this pink old suitcase here. Is this one gonna open? This zipper does seem to work, but that's not the one that opens it. No, it works. Let's see what's inside. Right, ew. Who puts actual clothes in a suitcase? These people do. So this whole bag literally just fell on me and tried to crush me. You know, you saw that, right? That was assault. We all caught it on video. Yes. And inside here is, really? A giant horde of rubber ducks? Oh. This whole bag is nothing but rubber ducks. What is that? Okay, I don't know what that is, but this whole bag is all rubber ducks. And you know what's weird? People actually buy these collections online. And speaking of online, guys, when you buy and sell storage units, there are a lot of people you don't want to find your information. Let me take a minute to tell you about our video sponsorship. First one, NordVPN. Every single time you connect to the internet, your IP address is visible to anybody who wants to steal it. Think of it like this safe right here. If your valuables were sitting outside, anybody could steal it. But this safe is like NordVPN. It takes your valuable stuff like your information, your data, your banking info, and protects it and keeps it secure. It's super easy to use, literally one click, or you can even enable auto connecting at zero clicks and you're protected for doing nothing. With NordVPN, you connect to over 5,200, that's 5,200 servers around the entire world in 60 total countries. No matter what operating system you're on, NordVPN has got you covered. iPhones, Android phones, Windows computers, Apple computers, even Linux, it doesn't matter what you're on, they are able to cover you. I know you've heard about the massive data breaches recently where people are getting tons of information stolen. You know what all those people that got hacked and their info stolen had in common? They weren't using NordVPN. Ask Dale Earnhardt Jr. He didn't use NordVPN and now he's trapped in my garage permanently. Now watch this, open up NordVPN, let's pick a country, United Kingdom. Click. It connects, boom. To celebrate NordVPN's 10th birthday, head to our exclusive URL, nordvpn.com slash Jeebus. To get the two year plan with an exclusive deal, plus one month free and a bonus gift. It's literally risk free with their 30 day money back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Protect yourself and keep yourself safe. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the unit. And that is how you're safe and smart online. Let's get into the next blue tote right here. It is, yes, what I always wanted. Oh, it's a kissy Sm one. It's kissy doo-doo. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> this right here, that's like a hand-drawn Chevy logo, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's inside of it. Whoa, actual jewelry and stuff. I wasn't expecting that. What is that? Pierce, Pierce Nation? Gauges, like gauges, maybe? Yeah. Little I love you thingy. That's a cross. Ooh, what is that? Whoa, 
That looks old. Let's yeah. set it right here for a second. It's a moldy. It is moldy, but it Ooh. still has me curious. It's an old cross. The box is stainless steel, but I don't think it's actually, it is. You know, you can tell it's fake. The paint's coming off the back. Obviously, real gold is really that color. So the paint's coming off. It's not real gold. Um, is that anything in there? <clears throat> Ew. Dirty. Let's see. Look around here. Flags. It's pretty much it looks like a bunch of kids' toys and a car. And yeah, I'm not seeing much else in here besides just toys. Can we sign into law something that states that when it's cold outside, that does not mean we have to crank every single inside building up to 85 or 90? Please, I can't be the only one that thinks that. I have to try to shed the sweatshirt. Let's keep pulling stuff out. So this book bag here, that's all closed, I can tell you. But what I can see now is interesting to me is the wooden like beer chest thing up there. Definitely looks like there could be something interesting in there, but we got to get to it first. We got this thingy. What is that? A handcrafted Chinese sky lantern. Are these the things that float away with a candle in the middle of them? I have no idea. Or is there a fire in it? <laughs> no I idea. I think. What is this? Like you heard how hard that hit, but then it feels like clothes. It doesn't make any sense about what's in there. I gotta rip it open. Mmm, it smells. Does it? it smells moldy. Oh, that's great. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, it's all moldy. Keep that's going. all moldy clothes. Why would you keep that? Why? I kid you now. We just moved four carts full of nothing but moldy clothes in moldy furniture. Just like terrible smell of mold. Look how much of this section we cleared out. And that was literally nothing but garbage. But I found this box and I have to open it because it's one of the reselling things that bother me. And I can see the white through it. It's these Disney VHSs. How many times have you heard, oh, the Black Diamond VHS from Disney's worth $1,000, which is like so a lie. Don't believe it. The Black Diamonds aren't worth any more than the regular ones. It's just eBay scams. But every time we find these Disney VHS tapes, we always just throw them out at our yard sale. People always buy them because it's more of a nostalgia thing. They don't really hold much value. If you want to sit on them for months to make $6 on eBay, you could, but I'd rather just give them out to people for a dollar. Let them relive their childhood. This is literally the first tote of the last like 15 to doesn't just stink and have mold all over it. So let's see what's in the blue tote. I might need this, but that looks moldy, doesn't it? Yep. No trespassing. But are these Coca-Cola? No, Switz Borax. I just usually assume when you see the old advertising with the red, I usually assume it's Coca-Cola, but sometimes it's not. This one is King Soars. Soap. Soap. Is it? Soap. Yeah, it's soap. Soap. I'm reading it upside down. <laughs> Christmas card with a million dollars in it, right? Of course. <laughs> Christmas card with, oh, nothing in it. Boo. -hoo. These are 12 pocket coupon organizer. Wow, that's old school. Very best to Hank Williams. And oh, I was about to say empty, but the earbuds are in there and they're brand new. Cool. That's a good $5. <laughs> What's in here? This looks interesting, kind of. Well, that does. What do you think that is? The rest of it lighter? just looks like junk. But this here, yeah, it is a lighter. Look at the top there. I wonder if it's missing. It's Yeah, like it's supposed to have, there's a hinge right there missing. It's supposed to have a cap over it. So it's an old <laughs> lighter, but it's broken. The rest of it, another a nickel and another lighter. Yeah, at least we got some money showing. <laughs> What's in here? Let's see. Uh, a bunch of pens and pencils, things like that, office supplies. What's this guy right here? Oh, it opens. It is, well, whatever it is, it has a 50 cents price tag on it. That's not good. It's a wallet right there. Let's put that here. This is like a little bunch of little Christmas jewelry. But again, it's got drink a goodwill. Charms. What is it? Drink charms. What's a drink charm? Maybe you put them over your, the rim of your cup or something. I don't know. What's the reasoning behind <laughs> that? I don't know. Hey, look, it's um, oh, it's Yosemite Sam in there. A little alligator. And what's this right here? What are these things? They look like little rocks. These people were definitely, it's like glass though. They were definitely thrifters. And just because it has a Goodwill sticker, don't discount it because people find a lot of good stuff at Goodwill. I read a story about somebody founding a $7,000 sealed Nintendo Stadium events game. There's like only 100 known to exist. And somebody found one at Goodwill for six bucks and sold it for over seven grand. So don't discount Goodwill. Let's see. Toothpicks and. A ball! What are these? 
They have like yeah. no some idea. type of agent writing on them. Some kind of game, probably. It's gotta be. What is that? Candles, jewelry, and ornaments. This is like a very random box. This is more so how the beginning of the unit was. Like, it's surprising me so far. From the first video we made in here, this seemed like it was gonna be a gold mine. We were finding silver, gold, video games, swords, like everything you can want. And then like after that video, it's kind of been a disaster so far, but you know what? It's okay, we're gonna recoup. We keep finding little cool things like this. We'll make up for it. We got little glow in the dark balls. What is that thing? Like is this something that sits on your table maybe? Yeah. This looks like copper wiring. <coughs> this is a camera, some kind of camera. A Canon Power Shot SX100. I feel like I find Canon Power Shots in almost yeah. every unit. Like it's gotta be the most common camera in America is a Canon Power Shot. Literally like almost every one. Hangman. Well, look at this. That's pretty cool actually. Right. Thumbtacks. For some reason, in my old house when I was a kid, we put so much stuff up with thumbtacks that they just fell all the time. So everybody knew our house is like the house that you're gonna get a thumbtack in your foot if you'd walk around. Oh, look at this. What is that? A calculator? Like Electronic a Electronic organizer. That's weird. That's before my time. <laughs> Nails. Little Lego guy. Now an electronic organizer is your smartphone. Yeah, phone does everything now. I don't even know what this is. That thing. We'll call it that thing. Oh, it's got mm -hmm. buttons over here. Pattern, on, speed, sound. Not sure. It's got to be like light patterns or something. Yeah. This. I don't know. What is that? Look Aero, it. Aero lens. What's it look like? I don't oh, see nothing. It. How do you open it? Right there. Oh, is it a, like a binoculars? I can kind of see you, but you don't look zoomed up at all. It just looks like Wait. I'm looking at you through a <laughs> blurry window. Eyes. I'm trying to see if I can zoom uh, into your eyes. I can't. Oh wait, you're blinking. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't look like I'm like magnifying you at all. It just looks like I'm looking at you through a blurry window. <laughs> that's all that's in this box. And let's see what else we got in here. Some Christmas ornaments and the rest of it for the most part looks like, ooh, what's that? Oh, <laughs> we found those before. Use before. Everybody's like, don't touch them because they're used for something inappropriate. But to me, I thought they were like stress. I don't know. There's something. What I was gonna say is everything else in here pretty much looks like Christmas. What do you think's in the, well, once locked truck? The weight of the stuff on top of it, you know, it's not so locked anymore. <laughs> what do you think's in there? Um, miscellaneous. I don't have a That's picture. not fair. I'm sorry. It's like saying something. You guess. It's open. <laughs> well, I could still couldn't see in it. What do you think this is? Is this a jewelry box? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Well, that's good. This is my, <laughs> ooh, look at that. This is my childhood right here. These came on the ice cream truck guy. We'd literally go find the ice cream guy. I didn't even buy ice cream. We'd just buy these and pop them at people. But look what I see. A jewelry box. You ready? Yeah. I see something in there too. It looks like that turquoise silver. Sterling. Is that a pacifier? Ew. Ew. <sighs> look at this though. Onyx and genuine diamond, sterling silver. And in it is a pacifier. Like that is the part the baby sucks on. And yeah. it's like. Ugh, that's, yeah, that's just grimy. All right, we have a mat. Is this a giant hookah? That's what it looks like, isn't it? That's part of the trunk. Yes, What's it looks mean? like a hookah thing. Yeah, I don't really know how they hook up or how they work, but it looks like the individual pieces like that. So I'm guessing that's a hookah. Is, uh, oh, nice. A skull. A human skull. Always good to find inside a storage unit. And the rest of it looks like pieces to a lamp. So we finally got down to that wooden beer box and it actually doesn't have a top, but it looks like it has a lot of cool collectibles inside. Miller, High Life, beer. And then on this side, same kind of thing. And exactly the same on that side, but let's bring it down. Oh, it's heavier than it looks. And see, ooh, what's inside of it? Might be collectible, might be junk. Whoa. Definitely old stuff though. Yeah. So, a decorative clown? That's a clown? That doesn't look like uh, a clown to me. Is that a like clown? Like a clown? Or, that's a C, right? I'm not stupid, am I? Yeah, <laughs> clown, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this guy or girl is Donna. Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi. <laughs> You're not Donna. Don't say hi back. <laughs> I was telling Donna hi. <laughs> this is an old hand drill. It is. Look at that. That's cool. Like I know this stuff like that has no practical use, but it is cool just to see like the evolution of tools and things like that. The what a, did this go to originally? <laughs> okay. We got a Harley Davidson beer attached hey. to 
a laser gun. You remember we had that? Yeah. Attached to the little plastic things that always kill the birds in the ocean. Attached to cat a cat. Is this fire? No. What did it do? Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, it sounded like a laser gun, <laughs> a futuristic laser gun. We found it in one of our earliest dumpster diving videos. This, yeah, I was about to say, this looks like what every kid had to make in art class in elementary school. Yep. Um, ooh, what is this? It says something on the bottom here. It says 1999 six trees. But this was sitting in there. I don't know if it's supposed to sit in there, but it does fit kind of nicely. Isn't that just a crossbow? Is it? That's what it feels like. I don't know. Maybe they just had a stand for their lacrosse. I was going to say, if it's not, it fits in there way too perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else is in here? Something's wrapped up in this. Again, elementary school art project. I wonder what happened to all mine. I probably threw them away. <laughs> uh, little jar. What is this? Uh, what do you think's in here? Something clay again. This is a lot. No, this is not elementary school. If your elementary school kid made this, then you got a little Picasso. Yep. That's a nice like bald eagle. That's good. Yeah. Do I see it? Like it looks like a wooden box down here. There's so I hate when there's so many little breakable things everywhere. Looks to say I'd like <laughs> to get. Oh wow. And you. Uh, well, I'm not reading that out loud, but you can read that. YouTube's gonna be like, excuse me. Um, couple. Oh, oh, little things like this. I hate glass. Can I just put that out there? I hate dealing with glass. Yeah. Like we use really plastic annoying. dishes at home because I just hate, I hate the clinking. I hate how careful you have to be and it's like so extra. Um, that little wooden thing, is those Zippos down there? A unicorn lighter, but it doesn't say Zippo on it. It's just a flip lighter. There's another one in there too. Another unicorn. Anything else in there? No, just a plastic thing. Got a couple more bottles. Pieces of glass. One of those movie reels down there. Is that Mickey Mouse's feet? Imagine you find like an original Disney reel. That's definitely Mickey Mouse. Let's see. The Walt Disney Studios Candy and Nuts. <laughs> it's empty. At least they didn't save the old Candy and Nuts from like. I bet you this is from at least the 90s, if I had to guess. I don't know. At least they didn't save them. Other than that, a bunch of little random things. I like what I see in this box. Let me bring it on me. Oh my gosh, if this is all that's in there. It is way, way heavy. I see a bunch of, it looks like Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. <laughs> I was to make sure I wasn't gonna slide away. Yeah, look in here. That's what I thought I saw. I don't know what era they're from, but like, look at this Snap-on Hot Wheel car from 2004. So it's crazy when I say 2004 now, that's 18 years ago. What has <laughs> happened to time? Look at all these. It's flown by. There's a <laughs> bunch of cars in here. Make sure there's none that look like really old. That looks like it could be old. It's dirty though. Let's see if I see a date on the back of this guy. You would think they put that somewhere clear, but it has a serial number on it. Like I've never seen that before. So maybe that means it was like a set number of them released. Let's get some of these cars out of the way. Cause there's a lot of them. A car's car, literally. Car's car. Uh, more, you can kind of like, I'm not, I was never really into collecting cars stuff when I was like a lot littler, but you could still kind of tell like these logos look newer to me. 2017 on this car. Yeah. Same. You can kind of tell the difference. Hey, look, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yep. Another so, one, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yep. Uh, let's see, what are these? Speakers? Mm -hmm. That might be where the heavy weight's coming from. Let's get them out of here. Well, you have, oh, they got some like full size guys down here too. Check that out. That's cool. There might be more of them down here. Oh, well, that's annoying. Why would you do that? <laughs> that, um, I see, is this clothes down here or is it padding something? No, there's literally just a bunch of clothes at the bottom. But over here, look how many loose guys we got inside the box. That is where all our weight comes from. Like it's mostly racing. Whoa, that looks like a. Is it for real? Yeah, this is a 19 round magazine for a Sig, right there. A nine, 19 nice. round magazine, nine rounds obsessed. But there's no way. Hold up, that makes no sense. This is not 19 rounds. That is way longer than that to me. I don't know what that is, but I guess we'll figure it out. But it says 19 RD. Okay. That be 19 rounds to you. Okay, so 
I'm gonna have to move these cars because I gotta make sure there's not an actual gun underneath of them. So we searched the whole box out. I found something interesting. Not quite what I was looking for, but another sign pointing to what I was looking for. A 20 gauge shotgun slug in the same box as this super long magazine. And I could tell you could look at the front of that and tell that it's not like a you know airsoft BB gun. This is a real mag. So I'm hoping somewhere in all this, there's a gun in here somewhere. But for now, let's just go into this box here because it's already sitting here. First thing we got, is that a cook put no, success with house, house plants? Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm just so, I hate plants. I guess because we have cats and they like to destroy them, so. No, we would hate plants anyway. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Um, quarterback telephone cards. Whoa, look at this. These are weird shaped telephone, I guess they're called telephone cards. Does it have a date on these? 1995. What is that? Look. What? To place calls, dial this, touch any tone, at prompt, enter this. Like, what's the what's point the, of their it? their phone numbers? Prepaid phone cards. What? Look, prepaid phone cards. So they just had like, you could collect them at the same time. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there's some NASCAR ones too. Look, it has a price, $10, $2. What? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in my life. They have WWE, hey. look, Stone Cold, The, Blades, the, Rock, the Rock, Star Wars, right here. I've never seen these. The dang oh. Kellogg people, baseball, baseball, a couple Shaq basketball ones. Hockey. Hockey. Yep, I'm hoping you didn't just see that one on camera. Uh, I didn't even see it. <laughs> it was a topless woman. Is that? Splinter? Uh, Ninja oh, Turtles. Yeah. yeah. Ninja Turtles, nice. a lot of these. Cool book here. I know, this is cool. What else is in here? Oh, the rest of it looks like it's all oh, Ninja, Turtles. Ninja Turtle ones. They're from 2003, so they're not quite as old as the are other these, stuff. Are these phone cards? I think those are regular yeah, trading cards. Regular cards. <laughs> but this was a cool little book right here. Let's just close that back up and see if there's anything else in the box. No! Whatever you are, 97 Raceway guy, you get back in here too. Anything else in this box? Seeing a lot of paperwork. Is that like a disc drive? DVD yeah. player or something? What's this? Um, literal actual index card. A pencil sharpener. And the rest of it just looks like office supplies. So we've come to the unfortunate conclusion that this furniture stinks terribly of mold. And it's also stacked 15 feet high. And so, in order to get it down, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to risk my life here. So you know what? You better leave this video a thumbs up right, right now because we are risking our life for this content. And of course, subscribe if you do. Because if I make it out of this, I do plan on making more videos like this. But basically, I'm gonna grab this briefcase and I'm gonna run. And whatever happens, happens. I feel like this is a stunt from like I know. Jack 4. I'm Johnny Knoxville and this is the storage unit Wait, pool. Wait, now do it like that. Ready? <laughs> Well, should I, be, I mean, my name is Steven, so I might as well be Steven, all right? Okay, yeah, right. I'm Steve O. <laughs> this is the briefcase pull. Whoa! Well, it had to be done. We, it had to be done. <laughs> we got this now. And I got away. Uh, no, I didn't get away unscathed. Uh -oh. Look, it got my finger. <laughs> oh. All right, well. We got the briefcase. I got the briefcase, at least I saved that. And realistically, the only reason I did that is because like I said, the mold is out of control in here. So it's unsellable, it's undonatable. It's gotta go to the trash anyway. Let's at least see what's in here. Gosh, anything wood and clothes from this unit is done. Let's see, what do you think? Camera? Yeah, Panasonic. <laughs> what's it's on the other side. Oh, didn't see it. Whoa. Oh. Look at that old school thing, AFX12. This looks like something a news would approach you with. <laughs> Welcome to Channel 5 News. You have anything? <laughs> what do you have to say about the current situation? It is a moldy situation, but it's we found very a camera. moldy. It is a nice camera, and I'm glad that's over with, and I'm glad I got away with that unhurt, besides a little, just a little tiny cut on my finger, but I'll take it. This box looks like it has some cool stuff in it, so let's set it down here Ugh, and try to go through it. So we just removed. Most of that furniture that fell, and let me tell you, it stinks so bad. It's so moldy. It's unsalvageable. So nobody go in the comments and say, oh my God, you broke that. It's it's garbage. Oh, I saw the rocks, and I also see um, seashells. So there's some like, of those nice cool raw, look at this one. 
This is a Dragon Ball that's recently been used and turned to stone. Mm -hmm. A year that'll turn back. Oh, these are, oh no, okay, there's stuff in there. Well, look at that. I thought it was empty at first. Look at cool. these. These are like gemstones and rocks. I don't know why, like it's so satisfying looking at these. Like I don't collect them personally, but every time I find them, we end up keeping like one or two before we sell them off. We have like probably five or six total we kept from random units. Seashells. Usually something that people that collect rocks also seem to collect seashells from what we found. These, more crystals. Relax crystal. I can't tell what that one says, but these look more like commercial, you buy crystals. Let's see what these look like. Well, that is one everywhere. Is that all marbles? Marbles. Whoa. Marbles are just so oddly satisfying too. Like one of those old, what do they call Cat eye marbles, I think. <clears throat> I think that's what they're called. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And the last one down here, let's see what that is. Minus the bumper sticker, what does that say? Beware of the sleep deprived mom. Beware of the sleep deprived me. Let's see, well, that didn't work. Get on your knee. <laughs> this one is also like those, these are like, to me, like what go on the bottom of a fish tank, really. You buy them at like Dollar Tree, one of the crafting stores, but the first couple look like actual crystals, but still, these are all cool to look at. Guys, we have a big goal and I need you to help us out. We are desperately trying to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, so if you don't already follow us there, follow us right here on our Instagram. The day we close on our brand new house, March 21st of this year, we're gonna pick somebody randomly that follows us and likes the pictures, and we're gonna do a $100 cash giveaway to one random person. So maybe Make sure you follow us on Instagram right now if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.